Hello guys, how's it going? So, in this video I am talking about OpenBSD and my recent foray back into trying it again. And since this is just going to be kind of a talk kind of video, I've got some gameplay up on the screen. And this is Polygon, it's a free game that you can get on Steam completely free. It works on Linux, at least right now. I don't know, maybe they'll implement anti-cheat here in like a week that breaks everything and makes this completely irrelevant, but there you go. Now, since you're here for OpenBSD, let's, let's talk about it. If you've ever seen any of my old OpenBSD content, you've probably heard me talk about the last time that I was using OpenBSD because of my motherboard. I'm, I'm assuming it's something to do with my motherboard and it's like, I believe it's super IO or whatever the BS it has is called. The fans would stop spinning as soon as the like actual computer booted up during the live environment or install process it, it wouldn't it wouldn't happen it was just when i was booting up it would load up a driver the acpi t0 or acpi t z0 yeah that's what it is um it would load that driver and then just completely stop working um all the fans would stop so i actually figured out that i could just run uh the command is config dash e dash o um slash and then i i give the new bsd config a name so i would do or bsd like kernel for OpenBSD, bsd.noacpitz, and then slash bsd for for that. And then you could just, it, it'll load up a UKC prompt, and you can type disable acpitz there, and then quit. And there you go. And then you just move the bsd kernel that you have to like a different file or whatever, call it like BSD, like backup or dot backup or something, and then move the no ACPITZ to slash BSD and bada bing bada boom. Uh, you have a new modified kernel set up that's not gonna load that driver and it works. So one problem solved, that's awesome. Then when I was actually in OpenBSD, I had the issue of horrible screen tearing that I couldn't get fixed with Xorg. I, I just, I, I couldn't fix it with Xorg and using like some tear free option. I couldn't fix it with Pycom. Um, they're n not giving it the dash dash vsync and experimental backends and everything. Nothing worked. Um, there was still terrible screen tearing, which is a problem. Especially for somebody who I like, I don't know, like maybe likes to make videos and stuff. And then also, Godot failed, and that was one of the big things for me going back to OpenBSD. I really, really like using OpenBSD as a system, but the interesting part to me about using OpenBSD would not only be using it for continuing to make videos and such, but also being able to make a game in Godot. Like I feel like making a game on OpenBSD is very interesting to me. Um, making a game on OpenBSD for OpenBSD or, you know, Linux users, whoever, but obviously playable on OpenBSD. I really like survival games. So like making something like that on OpenBSD is very appealing to me and I would like to be able to do it, but Godot just didn't want to work this time around. Um, uh, I did get it to work on another install with just regular, like the stable release 7.1 of OpenBSD. I did get it to work. I don't know if I did anything special that time or or what, but I'm definitely moving to the 7.2 beta or, you know, dash current branch. It's completely broken. So that's no fun. Yeah, I just kind of also have a major issue with the download speed of OpenBSD. It's really bad. I top out at 1.6 megabytes download on OpenBSD, where on Linux, I can easily get anywhere from 12 to 40 on most things, like so somewhere in that ballpark. So yeah, the internet speed is 
for some reason greatly diminish and again that's with you know all of my modified configs with the login.conf and sysctl.conf files on openbsd and it's just it's still not nearly as fast um as it should be i mean i'm not i'd be fine with a little bit of a performance hit but you know anywhere from like 10 to 20 times less speed is kind of kind of a problem you know just just a little bit but yeah openbsd just still is not really ready for me to use full time um i've i could make it work but i'm not looking for could make it work anymore i, I was definitely at that point you know in the past but not right now I'm, I'm looking for something that's stable and works and yeah o openbsd is just not it for me right now but that doesn't mean I, I don't like it or that i think it's bad or anything it's just i can't use it as my daily driver on my main system which i don't think surprises most people if we're being honest i'm very excited for the future of openbsd still because i think openbsd is very much a great operating system it's fantastic and and that's not just in the security and like server space it it can definitely function as a desktop operating system maybe not for everyone and probably not for most people but it can definitely do it and i like openbsd and if you like hearing me talk about openbsd and the videos here on the channel please consider subscribing so you see all of them and going down into the description, seeing the Patreon link. Uh, that's where you can go and become a patron like these fine people up on the screen and support the channel. It does mean a lot. We also have a discord down there in the description You can come on over chat. Also, I like, I don't really talk about this nearly as much as I should, but there's also a Teespring link down there so you can go get merch. We have some cool merch, uh, me and Matt from the Linux cast. Uh, both have merch down there and you can pick it up. I hope all of you guys enjoy these videos and thanks everybody who supports the channel, not just on Patreon, but you know, through likes, comments, and just all around being part of an awesome and not just respectful, but just really kind and awesome community. Thank you guys. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Feel like no one takes accountability. They want the credibility. Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours it takes to get some power. Don't be fucking sour. Take a cold shower. Scream until you're louder. Work until you're prouder. And fuck all the doubters. They're just fucking yeah. downers.